Hey everybody, Adam here, just doing a last minute finalization of my top six tobaccos from 2013. All of these were tried originally in 2013 and um, you know I didn't try a whole lot but uh, these definitely made an impact. So I really like these um, tobacco, you know, top top ten, top five, top four videos. I like hearing everybody's opinion. Um, I don't mind giving my opinion. I have uh, I rarely find a tobacco that I don't enjoy. So on with the list, number six, John Patton's Stormfront. This is available only in bulk, and I believe only from fournoggins.com. I haven't found it anywhere else. I like this blend because it's burly with a little bit of a cigar leaf uh, condiment. It, um, I am a Virginia smoker. I enjoy Virginia more than anything. But I was experiencing some tongue, tongue bite, and I decided to add some burlies to my... Um, rotation so I picked uh, from a recommendation John Patton Stormfront it is a burly with cigar leaf I recommend you try it I really really enjoy it number five uh, Peterson's University Flake I tried this stuff for the first time it's a um, Virginian burly flake it's got some kind of a topic on it. Uh, it's not an aromatic at all, but it, it is a good. It's a good kind of a strong flake, but it's not Irish flake strong, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, number four, this one made a return to the U.S. Bell's Three Nuns. Now I'm sure this is not like the original because it's got. A, I thought it would say. It's got Kentucky in it, I believe, instead of Perique. And that doesn't make any difference to me. I like the shape of the uh, little it's the little coins. Um, awesome, awesome tobacco. Unfortunately, it's kind of expensive. Um, six, five, four, number three, ball-headed teacher, also available from fournoggins.com as a bulk blend. It's um. I thought it was a burly blend, but it t sort of tended more towards an aromatic with a touch of Latakia in it. Excuse me, I'm trying not to sneeze. It's got just enough Latakia in it to give it just a little bit of a smoky taste, but it doesn't dominate the uh, blend at all. I, I really enjoy this blend. It's, it's, it really is fantastic. Um, this this blend may should have been number one, but. Uh, being a Virginia guy, number two, McClellan's Virginia Woods. I bought this on a whim. I don't. I really hate these cat food cans that this stuff comes in, but uh, McClellan's Virginia's man, they just cannot be beat. This is this is fantastic. It's like a ready rub, maybe broken flake, and I can't. Hey, look at there. Okay, and my number one tobacco of 2013, Capstan. Uh, again, this is a recent, recently available in the U.S., but um, my original buddy that was a pipe smoker, you know, he told me in the 90s, that's all he smoked, that's all he bought. He bought them by the 10 individually and when capstan was no longer available in the US he was no longer a pipe smoker that's devotion my friends have a good evening